In this part, we will be factoring out a common binomial from each of the factors. So before, we just saw polynomials that had monomials being added together. But here, we have polynomials with two polynomials being added together, pretty much. We've got this 2c times by the c plus 3, and then plus this 5 multiplied by another c plus 3. So what's in common between these terms is what we're looking for. And what will be in common in this part is a binomial. So taking a look at both of these terms, see, and these are two terms because this 2c is being multiplied by this c plus 3. So this is all one number right here because of the multiplication. Now, if there were a plus sign here between the 2c and the parentheses, then it would be two separate terms. But because it's being multiplied, it's all one term. Same thing over here. 5 is being multiplied by c plus 3. So what we're trying to do is make this smaller. And so we're looking for a common factor. We look at the 2 and the 5, and those don't have a common factor. The c and, but this one doesn't have a c next to the 5, but they do have a c plus 3, and that's what's common. So we'll take out a c plus 3. Well, when I do that, just like before, we put that common factor on the outside of a parenthesis. Since c plus 3 is one number, I need to have it in parentheses. So that's why I put parentheses around it. And then, just like before, we drew a parenthesis, and we put whatever was left over when we did the reducing. Well, here, we're going to go ahead and reduce our c plus 3s. Those will cancel out. And what's left over? It's the 2c. See how that's left over? Here, these c th plus 3s are going to cancel out, and what's left over? It's the positive 5. So we put plus 5. And that's our answer. That's as far as we take it. So we took out a common factor, but this time the common factor was a binomial. And we're left with the c plus 3, that common factor, times by whatever was left over after the reducing, 2c plus 5. And that's our answer. So what this is leading to is to be able to factor a four-term polynomial, which we'll work on tomorrow. And again, the whole reason for factoring is to solve. But we can't solve for a variable unless we have an equal sign. But eventually, if we had an equal sign, we'd learn later on, in about two, two, three weeks from now, that we can actually solve for one of these variables, actually both of these variables, if we had an equal sign, and we knew it had equal. And that's the whole reason for factoring, to be able to solve later on. Well, let's take a look at this next one. Here we want to take a look at what's common between these numbers. So taking a look at the x here. And this negative 2, no, they don't have anything in common. So let's take a look at our two terms again here. we got the x times by x squared plus 1 and a negative 2. And I treat that as a negative 2 because I can write plus negative 2 here. Negative 2 times by x squared plus 1. Well, what's in common? It's that x squared plus 1. So I go ahead and take that out. Notice I put it in parentheses because it's all one number. So I'm going to put that x squared plus 1 on the outside of a parenthesis <coughs> and then do some reducing. So let's see what's left over. So when I do that reducing, the x squared plus 1's cancel out. Well, the only thing left is an x. So that goes inside. And then the x squared plus 1's again cancel out. What's left over? That negative 2. So minus 2. And that's our answer. That's as far as we go. So let's take a look at this next one. This one looks promising. We've got two terms. We've got a 4 and an x minus 2. Here we have an x and an x plus 2. So let's see what's in common. We have a 4 and an x. Well, those don't have anything in common. They're not the same. How about this? x minus 2. Well, that means I need to have an x minus 2 on this side. But I don't. You see these signs right here? They're different. They're not the same. Not the same. Everything in the parentheses needs to be the same. Even the minus sign and the plus sign there need to be the same when we are taking out a common factor. So the only factor, oh, the only, the only common, common factor, the only common factor is 1. 
and so there's no other factor than one so there's no reason to go ahead and take out a one because one won't change anything we're not taking anything other than one out so we'll just leave it and so we'll just say that the answer is just that we cannot can't factor and that would be it well that was a different one didn't have a couldn't take anything out kind of disappointing but let's take a look at the next one see if we can do something with this one here we have our two terms and again treat this as like a we have a minus sign here it's the same thing as plus negative and you gotta think about what would you put between these terms well, we'll talk about that in a little bit but let's take a look at the numbers 6y and no number here so we can't take out a common factor there but we do have a y minus 7 that's exactly the same so let's go ahead and put that on the outside of a parenthesis. And again, that is put in parentheses because that's all one number. We just don't know what y is. See, if once we knew y, we could take away 7 from it, and that's what that number would be. Let's go ahead and put in some empty parentheses here so that we can go ahead and rewrite what goes inside there. And let's take out common factors. See, the y minus 7s are the common factors. What's left over? 6y. All right, we're on our way. One more here. So y minus sevens cancel out. What's left over? A minus sign. Uh, what can we put in behind the minus sign? One. Negative one is left over. And that's a tough part that people have a little bit of trouble with. Sometimes people leave that off and then just write the answer as 6y times by y minus 7. But that would be wrong. We've got to have a binomial there. We need to have that negative one showing that it's being multiplied by the y minus 7. Well, there's our answer. That's as far as we take it. So those are the two different types of problems you'll see on tonight's homework. Factoring out greatest common factors from just a series of monomials added together, making a polynomial. And then here we have other polynomials where we're going to take out a common factor that's a binomial. So good luck on tonight's homework.